A lot of people have been asking me, what do I bring to class every day? What do they need to bring to class? What's like the bare minimum that you need to get by to be successful? I'm gonna tell you what those things are and you're gonna be happy that you know what they are and you're not gonna be walking around like a kid in middle school with like that really big backpack that needs the wheels and the handle. No, we're not doing all that. You're bringing the bare minimum to class so you can be successful. Okay, let's do it. Let's get into it. I'm packing stuff so that I can be successful in class and then when class ends, I'll be productive in the library. Like I wanna stay on campus as long as possible if I can because I know once I get back, I'm just gonna procrastinate and I'm not gonna really wanna go back even though it's literally a two minute walk across the street. So first things first, there's like two types of note takers in vet school. There's like the iPad note takers who like download the PowerPoint and then they'll just like write directly on the PowerPoint on their iPad. And then there's the typers and I am a typer. So the first thing I absolutely need to bring to class is my laptop, it is truly my lifeline. I take all of my lecture notes on here. Everything is on here. iPad. My school provides me with an iPad. I don't know about all veterinary schools, but I know a lot of veterinary schools do provide their students with an iPad. It's usually included in the tuition. A big reason my school gives out iPads is because we end up taking a bunch of our exams on here. Mine came with this beautiful case. Watch this. Stands up all on its own. Good for that iPad. Good for you. I always feel so professional closing it. I'm like, Oof. Even though I'm typing all of my lecture notes, the iPad is still essential for me. The professor might be speeding through lectures, so at least I can have that PowerPoint slide right there on my iPad just in case. Make a little note like, oh, you fell behind here, something like that, you know? Like you can always have the slides up on your laptop with you while you're typing your notes, but if you have it up on your iPad next to you, you always have the opportunity to mark and make some kind of comment. Also, just for the sake of like the classes where you can't have your typed up notes be a bunch of words, it needs to be pictures. And that's another big thing where your iPad comes into play. That, you can't, you, ha you can't type that. A bunch of pink and purple squiggles. I can't recreate that in my notes. So my iPad is definitely important for a lot of things beyond just taking an exam. So then people say, oh, you have an iPad. How much was the Apple Pencil? I did not buy the Apple Pencil. I was not about to pay like 100 to $120 for a little thing to write on my screen. I bought this very functional, perfectly fine, fake Apple Pencil thing. It doesn't connect with Bluetooth. I just tap the top right here and the blue light lights up, so that's how I know it's on. So here's a picture of my PowerPoint. I'm gonna click my pencil on, one tap, nice and blue. And, oh, my battery's gonna die soon, that's cute. And then I'm just gonna write something right here. Yum. A sarcoma, yummy, yum, yum, yum. This was only like $35, $40 on Amazon versus paying $100 to $120 through Apple. I went through a handful of YouTube reviews reading like different types of like iPad styluses and they were all still super expensive. And then I found this beauty on Amazon. Since I'm on the topic of iPads, for all those iPad users out there that like to digitally take notes, I wanna highlight the two note-taking apps. So the first one is OneNote. You can even go and then use OneNote on your laptop if you wanna type notes. So like whatever you write here will sync on your, um, will sync on your laptop, which is nice. But the way that this works is the file that you upload is a printout. So it's like a screenshot basically of all of the files. So if you go and like search a keyword, it's not gonna pop up because it's just a screenshot. You know what I mean? Unless you hand write the words, that's the only thing that's gonna pop up in your search. And then there's another note taking app called Notability. And this one costs about $10, but I do think it's worth the investment. It's like if OneNote had a better big brother that went to the gym a lot. And then with Notability, like you can go and search keywords. You can still use on your laptop and come up on your laptop. What's nice is this little recording feature right here where you can record the lecture live. And then if there's a certain slide where you missed something or you wrote something down and you missed it, you can click on the recording and jump right there. So that's what I really like about Notability. With Notability, you have to write your notes directly on the slide or you can insert a slide in between the two so that way you'll have like a blank page and then a slide and then you can write there. But with OneNote, you can write to the side of the slides. After class, I wanna stay on campus. I wanna study on campus. So I'm a note taker. Look at this thing, all right? I feel like, 
I work in an office in a cubicle. Look, look at this. Boom. Get one of these. If you're a note typer and you like printing your notes, this bad boy right here. It is so convenient. I used to have like a bunch of little folders. I'm like, hmm, what do I want to study today? Path, back tea, nutrition, viral. It just has everything all in one place. It's protecting my notes pretty well. Even if you're not the type of person that prints notes, but you take them on a separate piece of paper and then you handwrite them, just have some type of folder to store those notes in. Our lives are already chaotic enough. Might as well make it easier on yourself. You know what I mean? I type my notes, I printed them, I put them in my pretty binder thing, but now it's actually time to study them. And that's where these bad boys come into play. When I got to vet school, I was surprised how many people had this brand of pen. So like, if you want a pen, Brand. There you go. This shade of pen. The way that I take notes is I type up my notes and then I'll go through it afterwards and I like underlining. I don't know, I just, I like underlining. Some people like highlighting, whatever. I like underlining, I like this brand of pen. It doesn't bleed through my paper. Some little lines, highlighting what's important, draw a cute picture, color it in maybe. I don't know, that's what I do. Next thing that you absolutely need when you are printing your notes, some form of whiteout. Last but not least, Pencil and pen. Now, as you know, I go to school in the Caribbean, so probably the most important thing that you should always remember to keep in your bag, deodorant. Specifically men's deodorant, ladies, because like it is just so hot there, so you'll, you'll thank me for that one. As you can see, you know, I'm not really bringing a notebook with me. The only time I actually take out some scrap paper and rewrite the note over is when like something is just a little too hard for me to understand after reading it a couple times, and I need to like, draw it out, write it down, break it down, but I'm not doing that for all of my notes. If you are considering bringing paper, my biggest recommendation is just to get like a thing of printer paper or just bring like one or two notebooks. Don't come to school with five different subject notebooks. I just don't think you're gonna fill it up. When you're in class, there's no way you're gonna be handwriting everything. There's no way you're gonna keep up with the professor unless you're just really impressive. Then you're really cool and I really wanna see you in the world record book and I really hope you don't have carpal tunnel. I've talked about all of the essentials that I think are essential. There's there's one more thing though that I think that you all should invest in, especially if you're gonna be kind of far from home and you plan on taking notes with a laptop and you know you're gonna have an iPad, I highly, highly, highly recommend buying one of these bad boys right here, all right? This is a Bluetooth keyboard. I think it cost me like 20, $25 at Walmart. Runs on batteries. You just click it on, on the back and it goes. It makes this noise. Kind of satisfying because i feel like i'm being productive but my laptop had some like weird battery issues so i had to take all my notes on my ipad for a week this was important to have unfortunately i was home for it just off the top of my head i personally know four people that experienced laptop issues the minute they got to school and they would have been screwed if they didn't have their ipad some of them either had to handwrite all their notes when they were used to typing it, and some of them fortunately brought cases that had the keyboard attached to it, which I don't really think is entirely comfortable. So that's why I highly recommend this. Even if all you have is a laptop, I still recommend buying this because it's really good for your spine, your posture, and now I'm like chiropractor Ashley on YouTube. Yes, but like my chiropractor told me this, okay? So like this isn't just like my own assumption. As students in graduate school, we sit all day long. We sit in lecture, we go to the library we sit at those tables and those chairs we just sit 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 and then we go to bed and we start the day all over again when you are taking notes like this you tend to lean forward which like puts a lot of strain on your back i've actually been in so much back pain that i got a headache and i couldn't focus for the rest of the day but i had to get over it because i had stuff to do so if you just slid your laptop forward and you put your keyboard on your lap it's impressive look at the spine work and then like what i i mean i catch myself doing this all the time so this is just like a, a recommendation you know i'm happy that i got this keyboard i just figured i got to let you know. Back.